Earl and Melanie King dismantles modern women in epic debate. You, you mentioned that women are told that the queens, the princesses, they're special. Who do you think pushes that more, men or women? I think women. women. Because women influence, like, my father never called me a princess. Like, I never understood this princess thing. My father called me meatball because I was a little fat so, little baby. And my entire life, he used to say, Meaty, you're getting a little thick. Let's go to the so, gym. So if we blame like, society, in a way, so in a way, if we blame society, if women are the ones that pass on culture and women are the ones that are pushing these lies more than men, in a way, it, when we say society, we're really talking about women. Yeah. Because we, we run, it, it, because women, this is, this is why society is the way it is. Because women buy. Women have the purchasing power in, in the world. Mm -hmm. We buy everything. Mm. So corporations, media, have learned pander to women, their needs, their feelings. Because men aren't buying things. More, men are more price conscious. Not all, but most men are not just spending frivolously. And so women, we will just spend on our feelings. We, we, we spend, it's by 90%, I think, the purchasing power. So media and culture has, has, has set up things so that women feel good because they are the ones that are going to make them rich. I mean, that goes into a lot of layers and a lot of levels, but that's the reason why our society is the way it is and why women are not held accountable because it's not profitable. I just want to just uh, bring it back to the quick point is that like, I, I don't know, like if I ever get elected into any house or Congress or anything like that, I, there's gotta be a way to make these false allegations illegal. Like, like, like there has, like there has to be something. We, listen, be. most men have a friend that has had a friend. If not them, that's been falsely accused. Mm, most yeah. men know of a well, It's easily solvable. If you can't prove it, if you make an accusation, you can't prove it, blah, blah, blah. Then you get the 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 same um, the same punishment the guy would have get uh, gotten, you know, if he was guilty, and that will uh, you know take away ninety nine percent of all the false accusations because you you are now aware. Okay, shit. If I don't make this false accusation, uh, you know, seem true, I will be fucked. You know what I mean? man who they have a child with the lovely young lady the child the, the child's mother can utilize mm. some false accusation mm. to remove that child from that man's life shit i got a story on my channel me being falsely accused of some shit mm. we all all of us we all but see we won't want to talk about that mm. all of a sudden we want to talk about uh holding them accountable all of a sudden we want to talk about that can we talk about the dna testing center i've had i had two guys call in they work at dna testing centers one guy had to quit. One guy still works there. He told me 40% of the children are not the man's child. 40%. 40%. He said 40%. Somebody cool and Lori. it's wow. usually, Make DNA testing it's, it, and it's two, mandatory. it's two scenarios. It's where the woman, they, the person's getting a DNA test because the woman claims that is their child. Turns out it's not. The other one is where the parent is on the deathbed and makes a confession. Oh, or God. they need a health, they need a liver transplant, blood transfusion, and the blood type, there's no way that that can actually be the father. So then they find out that because of medical reasons, you mean that's not my father? Then the father finds out from that way. He said it took such a toll on him mm. that he could no longer do it because he would be sitting on the phone counseling the men and the grown children who these women falsely accuse. We see it on more. We see it on paternity court. But yet we say men need to be held accountable. Why are these women needing all these paternity? Why does Maury exist with you are yeah. not the father? You, you, Why do you does know paternity what would happen court exist if DNA if testing women are was so mandatory? Accountable? Do you know what would happen if DNA testing was mandatory? If they tested all women? You know, calamity. calamity. I mean, my sister told me calamity. the other day this should be standard. My sister told me that last that's week. That's why they won't do she it. She said though. it should be a standard thing at the hospital. But that's why they won't test. do it. To me, it just makes I, sense. I'm Give an epidural DNA test. I'm doing. I'm doing a documentary um, on the court system here in the UK, and I um I was interviewing this guy. He he works for it's called Fathers for Justice, and they help men get. Well, what if what if uh, the test isn't? What if this is like way a long shot? But what if? A doctor decided it doesn't like you and you haven't slept around and you're going to have your baby. And he's like, yeah, the test says he's not the father, even though he is the father. You're like, what? No, I haven't slept with anybody else. You're like, oh, the test says you have. But I haven't. Well, you can do another one. All right, let's do another one. Oh, shit. That's a silly idea, but, you know. Who knows, though? Their kids. You and can't just I rely on a test 100% knowing that there are some, you know, shady shit that happens. Found out is in the UK. Um, you are actually given a free free counsel, which is a, a lawyer, basically, mm -hmm. if you accuse your husband of abuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what the women can do is they can accuse the guy of abuse and um, file a restraining order against him, even if he did nothing. And if he breaks that, he actually goes to jail. Yeah. And, and it can take one to two years to even get the kid back. So he could have a newborn and not see the kid for two years over a false al allegation. Mm. And then, so he told me this story of this guy who the mom accused him of touching the kids. 
and it destroyed his social life. It destroyed everything. He got, he got let go from his job and the man, he called the guy and said, I'm going to kill myself mm. and hung up. And he said, thank you for helping me. I'm gonna, but I can't do this. I'm going to kill myself. And he shot himself in the head. That's, what happened, but that's and, what happened in the and, DNA center. That's what a guy quit. And so are, are the women held accountable for causing the men to do that over a false allegation? Well, no, because even if that turns out that that's false on the man, that still sticks with him forever. Forever. Yes. You're guilty. Regardless. You're guilty until same proven innocent. The, same thing as the essay. It's not, guilty. It's, it's not innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. No. It's guilty until proven innocent. Exactly. You put not even that. As soon as you get that little stain on you, even if you're proven not guilty, you're still guilty. <laughs> because that shit lives on, man. Lives on. Put it out. Look what just happened with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. That's right. Look oh, what just happened with yeah. that ESPN. Don't get me started with Amber Heard. Analyst. Do not talk about Amber Heard. What, what, what's his name? I don't, I, don't I don't even watch sports I, like I that. I forget his name, but I know you're talking about. He just, and because of a false al allegation, allegation yeah. because of that, he was not allowed to report at, at the at the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Off of off of that, now we're su su suing him for like tens of millions of dollars yeah, or something yeah. like that. It's absolutely preposterous Amber and absurd. Heard, Amber Heard should have woke all women. Do you know about the Amber Heard case? Yeah. I okay, did. so Amber Heard, the Me Too, all of that, to this day, she is still lying through her teeth. And we had to, there are SA victims, SA counselors that actually support um, to support Johnny Depp because we could see it for ourselves. There are women. You may not be that way, right? Yeah. So a lot of women, we internalize it and we'll say, well, my friends and the people I know, but there are so many women who are like Amber Heard, who to me is, is a complete for demon. lying. And um, it, she it, took it, a shit on his bed. No, no, no. You're a nasty young woman. You're a nasty. <laughs> Look here, man. You're no, nasty. But not only that, but what Gross. she did, she uh, she um, violated him. The things in her lies were ratcheted up. And guess what happened in society? Just because she made the accusation. He, his life was destroyed. It took him six years in a public trial in order to get it out there. If we that trial was not public, six. if that trial was not public, people would have said, oh, well, you know, the court system is against women and all that. But because we can see it, I knew Johnny was innocent early because I had saw some stuff with Amber Heard. I knew she was a narcissist just by the things she would do. But most people were fooled by her because she was pretty and had a smile and she just claimed victimhood. Yeah, and that is when you do look symmetrical, because that is, if we're gonna be frank, the the what do you call it? The template for looking good is looking symmetrical. You know, like everything is symmetrical, and when you look symmetrical, you look good, and when you look good, you get some privileges by looking good. For example, taking a shit on somebody's bed. Nobody cares because she she looks symmetrical, right? But if it was uh, somebody else, or especially if it was the dude taking a shit, like oh, he's the, the crazy, you know, disgusting animal. But Amber Heard, she gets away with that shit, <laughs> just because she looks good. But once it came out, Johnny Depp. His case was pivotal for all men and all women to finally see that, yes, there are women and the, a large, a large number of women who are lying in the paternity court. Maury, if, why don't women, why don't you as women say correlate and say is, those women on paternity court and Maury, who the father is not. It, there's been women who've been tested 30 men and they still have not found the father. This is, this is what we talk about accountability, right? Because the modern woman would prefer to lie than take accountability. So with the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp case, she preferred to lie than to be seen. Because I've always said that women have a perception, right, that they want to keep up. They want to be seen a certain way. True, the okay? image. And so what it is is that for women, image is all of, is everything, right? And so with Amber Heard, she, um, she didn't want her image to be destroyed. With the women that go on the Maury show, and they, I'm telling you, they go crazy. He should have been doing this before the DNA <laughs> test comes out, by the way. They're going crazy because what? They're trying to keep an image, mm -hmm. right? The problem is, the reason why MTR was talking about, okay, DNA test should be mandatory. The reason why they won't do it is because women's image would be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Women want an image in this society, and their image is going to be destroyed. So what they would prefer to do is lie because there are many people, most people believe that women are quite innocent, believe that they're, ones that, always a vi that, they're the ones that are always a victim, right? What will happen is their image will be destroyed and they'll be seen for who they are and they don't want it. Maybe and, that's and what needs to happen to break the system. system. No, 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 the system. System. No, I'm going to make one point. I'm going to I'm make one point. I'm going to make one point. What she has what, to say. One of the things that I learned in doing content in this space is like when I think about like the reason that feminism is where it is right now and the ideals as, it, as what it is, is that it's all a power play. It's all, it's all about power. At the end of it, at the beginning of it, and at the end of it, it's about power. Why would you consistently want to be a victim? To act like you are a victim in a society and talk about this patriarchy and talk about you're in this oppression. Yeah, you play weak in order to, to get strength in form of power. That's funny. Oh, 
I'm weak. So give me power so I, I become strong. You're in the freest, mm. cleanest, lack of poverty, mm. lack of homelessness, lack of, lack of, and the most abundant version of that society that has ever existed in the history of mankind today. What rights do you not have that I have? But that's what we've convinced them today, as if it actually exists. So they think they could just get away with the privilege of not being accountable because of all the structures that are put into place. One thing you guys mentioned before earlier was about Maury. Think about the concept of Maury. This is why so many women today are incapable of understanding the word accountability when they look at the different structures within our society today. The concept of Maury is she can test six to ten men, but she'll never get booed. Ever. She gets clapped. She can come out up on stage mm -hmm. and never get booed, but they'll boo all six of the guys, right, yeah. even if they were never the father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll boo every last one of them. Yeah. You, as a young boy, I'm sitting here watching this shit like, damn, men ain't shit. Mm -hmm. Men ain't wow. shit. And that's the shit that I was looking at the content. Men ain't shit. Because, mm -hmm. of course, they had the dudes on the side saying, boo, yeah. or yay, the, the woman came out. So it goes deep. It, it goes so deep but at what we've been conditioned to believe in. That's why, they, they, yeah. hold up, that's why there's so many women yeah. today that are just incapable of seeing behind the trees. They just don't see it. They, they literally don't say they're blind to it. But they were conditioned to be blind to it. Because it know, makes them a better consumer. So, but you know what, MJ, I'm sorry to cut you, right? But you know what happens when they do get found out to be lying? They get consoled. No, they run off. Oh, oh, they run off and scream. Don't worry. They run off and scream. More I got so many stories them. about this. And they everyone's like, oh, out. it's okay. So what, you, what it is is that there's no accountability. <laughs> Me and MTR know that right, if a guy does something and it's wrong and it goes tits up, there's an accountability there, right? There's accountability right there. Women get consoled. They get muddled, cuddled. They get told that it's okay. Don't worry about it. So then she what, does what? She goes and does it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she never learned the lesson. There was no real consequence. Exactly. If, if I she's consoled by men and women. Men and women. Well, exactly. There, there's always a bailout. I mean, even the church. I mean, it, it tells men to date born again virgins. Okay. Now, can I say, look, look, okay. can I say this on Maury? Even if you watch it, the women will run. They will go it, automatically. The woman is cheered when he comes out, and all these men are booed. She will run off the show, screaming and crying, going crazy. And Maury will chastise the man. That child still needs a father. She didn't mean it. You know, you should still her. be nice oh, to her. Okay. Oh, you should, not, but if the okay. man is like, but if the man says that's not my child, I'm not going to. They shame Ooh. him. Boo. And it's going to be that. What, what do you think about that? Like all of this that we've said. And we've said a lot. I'm sorry. Gonna, you, you had a thought earlier. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to let you okay. go really quick. My thought was, so what's the solution, right? Like men talk about we want to be forward focusing. We want to reach a goal. We want to end the solution, right? And so back to the proposal earlier, it's the 5 to 10% of men, right? We've all agreed that men should be leading, right? But men have taken a passive seat to allow women to... The the the, plat, the platform has switched. Women are being men. We're out here in women, the streets and we're doing what we do were doing. Before. Women who are yes, men. Women, well, we, we, and that's when you know you're living in a satanic world when uh, the opposites are happening. You know, men is uh, men are women, women are men. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that's Satan's world. Women, we, we, we chose to be. And that is also wrong. You know, why is it wrong? Because men should be men and women should be women. You know what I mean? That, that's what they're supposed to be. And when you flip that, that's automatically wrong. Nature says this. Nature made men a certain way and women a certain way. And when you try to go against nature, you will always fail. Always. It's like, that is like systems in this simulation. You're trying to go against the rule set of the simulation. It won't work. You can't win. But we chose to do that. We, we chose, chose to do that. So, so wh whose fault is it? The men or the person making the choice? We made the choice to sleep well. Let's, we're, we're, let's be clear, though. Where did that come but from? We're because we're back in the day when men were leading? We're in control of sex. They're in control of relationships. Okay, so but where did that come from? It came from a lack of fathers sitting their daughters down. To her point, she brought up a very good point. Mm -hmm. And I, I guarantee you, but if why? this 80% no, no, of women why? had why? men, what do you mean why? But why? Because there's incentive structures in place that allow women to take the father out of the home with no consequence. And women and women chose to do absolutely. women in the last hundred years or Absolutely. since the 60s. Yeah. So again, it, it, women chose to do that. We didn't have to take those structures up. Abs okay. So we kind of were forced to. That's another No, no we were not, ma'am. No, 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 no. We, we, were, we were not forced we to. Were not you weren't going to get a check if your husband was in the because, house because, and you had no. to provide for him no, and the kids. No, no, we absolutely no, 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 were forced no, 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 to no, no, take no, no, the no, government. That's a false narrative. That's a false narrative. First. Paint no, no, me no, the real one, no, please. No, no, because I will back it up. So if we go back into this, it is, is third wave feminism that actually caused this. And we talked about it earlier. I was talking to Pearl about it, about Cosmopolitan Magazine and how they actually, there were, it made money to create in the black family structure specifically, because this is where the problem really lies 
in, in, in the world, in, in the US, I will say, I don't know how it is in the UK, um, but, but our family structure, they, they purposely destroyed our family structure um, because it made them money. Um, we can go into even government welfare, government cheese. Uh, there was a surplus of farmers having cows. They needed to get, they needed to make money. Government grants and able to, somebody needed to get this, this cheese, so to get this milk, get the food that they had a surplus in, or it would go rotten and these farmers would not make money. This is layered upon layers of layers that were systematic. So Absolutely. to say we did not have a choice, we chose, we chose greed. We chose a bag over a man. We chose to not, our children, we would rather have a bunch of money than have our children have a father in the home. I so we're not saying no one show, no one, no, 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 you have to know the history. This is I'm proven fact. Because ultimately a woman just wants security. And really, if you just swap the man with the government, doesn't do that much difference for, for women. Not all women, but you know, women. History. No, men were not facts. able to work and provide for their That's families. We were forced to take That's the false. government check. That's false. They couldn't stay That's in the house false. if they were there. That's false. Then how were they going to feed the That's children? False. And where were the children? Were fed. Women were greedy because they it was coming from be, the government. No, no, no. Let's but get if the husband clear. was home, he black wouldn't be employed. Women, black women so wanted to be like white women in the Cosmopolitan magazine. The the woman who ran, who started Cosmopolitan magazine, the main editor. She's now a Catholic, and she repented from what she did. She said we were teaching women because we wanted all women to feel that we had a gripe with white men. And so yeah, this is this public knowledge. You look it up on YouTube. She talked about it. Yes, absolutely. They wanted black women to also be part of their movement and other races because it wasn't enough. The black woman and the black man had to stay together in the U.S. because it was the only way for us to overcome. What yeah. they did was with Cosmo, they lied. These were women that would say, you know what? There's a single woman moved to New York. She's sleeping with different men. She has her life. She has her own money, her education. She's getting these jobs. These women were promoting promiscuity and living a certain lifestyle mm. when they were all married. They were all lying and making up these people because it was supposed to be a fantasy magazine. Mm -hmm. But women were taken as gospel Seriously. and real. Talk and so what happened? happened is black women saw the white woman as, as as pinnacle because we're not going into colorism and all that. That's not what this show is about. But we saw the white woman as what to strive for as black women. We're saying these white women are free. These white women are mm. independent. These white women don't need no man. I don't need mine. He's not doing enough. He's not good enough as a black man. When our entire lives, how we came out of everything we did in the U.S. was through the black man and black together. woman coming together. So we allowed these women and these corporations who wanted to make money off of our backs. And they knew that we had a, 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 a uh, insecurity about being dark, about being black. And we wanted to strive to the higher societies because white women were seen as the highest. So we think we want to be like white women, get our education, do this, do that. When those women were lying, even to other white women, they were lying to us as black women. So then the government stepped in. There's whole documentaries about this on black history. And I mean, black historians will not refute this. This is what we all know as gospel in our communities. So what you're saying right here is black children, when we were being provided for, but it wasn't enough. We wanted to be like white women and we had greed in our eyes. We had, we had envy in our eyes. And we're like, I don't need no black man. I I can do better. I can do bad all by myself. And so our children, it's a false narrative to say our children were not eating. Our children were eating. We want it better. And yeah, because the idea, it's, it's a money thing. Wait, wait. So the idea that it's a money thing and that like women had to take the government assistance because the men weren't taking enough money or weren't making enough money. Is that what you're saying? So I think it's great that we can now, in our liberated sense, and now that we mm -hmm. have the knowledge and understand it, right, mm -hmm. we can definitely look back, vision is 2020, right, no. and say we would do stuff different. Mm -hmm. In that time, that was the narrative so, and the picture so, that no, was so painted. Is that, is that what you're saying? That is that what I'm saying, because that men, was... Wait, I'm just... Okay, I just want to... Sorry. That you, you're saying the men weren't making enough money, so the women had to take the government assistance. Yes. So, but even... What? Then, even, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my wait, God. Guys, wait, wait. Sorry, go so ahead. So even, even, even then, they had a higher standard of living than most people did in all of human history. So how is it an excuse when you're living better than most people did in all of human history? Okay, so I'm speaking specifically for the black families, mm -hmm. right? And so back then, mm -hmm. when men were living at home, mm -hmm. they were not able to be employable, right? And so they would leave they women. Wait, why weren't they employable? Because they, to her, she, everything she said is 100% factual, right? Mm -hmm. And if we knew that that was a narrative then, of course we wouldn't have fallen for it, right? Mm -hmm. But because they were trying to divide the black family, mm -hmm. they would say men to provide for your family or things like that. We don't want you to be there because we know that you're a leader and the impact of that. So how can we divide that? Mm -hmm. We're not going to give you good qualifying jobs if you're in the home. Mm -hmm. But then the woman, how can I provide and how can I do this mm -hmm. if he's not in the home? Mm -hmm. They would take the government. We all know it's a scam now. Absolutely. But back in the day, that was the reality. To get a good paying job, to try to pay for your family, be employable, right? Mm -hmm. You thought you had to not live in the household. Mm -hmm. So you agree? Yeah. I, I, I wasn't that I wasn't agreeing. Okay. I couldn't elaborate on it, right? I, mm -hmm. And, and I, everything she said was 100% so, factual, so right? They, but, but listen, though, if you agree, then why would they take that solution? Because it's almost as if Cosmo created this fantasy, but the black women attached themselves to that fantasy Don't we to today, overthrow though? the patriarchy. We still do it today. But black men were never a part of the patriarchy. But we're so still what we are trying to be independent from? 
Listen, I'm not saying because it was right. I can't go back then and speak so to then their mindset. So then hold them accountable. I agree with that. I've always said we should oh, hold women okay. accountable this evening, right? But today we're still doing the same narrative, right? We're still selling city girls and being out here and being flown out. We're still selling it. Right, 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 and right, women right. are so still I, buying I, it. I, yeah, so I have a they question. It. Who's, whose fault is it for buying it? Exactly. I would challenge one thing that you said when you say that if we all agree that there's 80% of women that are out here running the streets and then there's a 5 to 10% of men that are taking advantage of that. I reject the idea that the focus should be on the small percentage of men that are running the streets when we have an overabundance of women that are not acting accordingly. Mm. I would say, let's at least get that down to five to 10% of women are running the streets, <laughs> five to 10% of men are running the streets, and then look at them equally. But as long as we have the scale so tipped that women are allowing this, I say, let's clean our own house first before we point the finger. Amen. Yeah, but that's, what, that's, that's, that's why I said that's you come it. back to the, the 1% because we understand and we talk about it all, this, uh, all the time on the show. Women make 80% of consumer buying decisions, right? So that means you can sell anything to women. Who are the people in power that know this? Because I'm not in power and I know this. <laughs> so the people that are in power know this. Everything is sold to women. They sold them feminism. Now they sell them city girls. They can sell them. Yeah, I don't know. They can yeah. sell them. Yeah, it's all coming through the women. It's all coming through. Like, it's like an open gateway. All of the bullshit comes from there. And from wimpy men that supports that shit because whatever reason. They want pussy or whatever it is. That is the problem. Like, yeah, every, everything comes in through this gateway, which is the woman. And I, I always compare that to the, the, the story about Adam and Eve. The snake came to Eve, which is the woman. And through that, through the woman, came into the house. You know? Just look at what feminism has done. Feminism has destroyed things for the female gender. Destroyed it to the point where now men are competing in women's sports, taking, taking over it. And also, to the point now where a dude, like me, I can say that I'm a woman without any, you know. I can just say I'm a woman and I'm a woman now. Because they say woman is whatever you want it to be. So that is all because of feminism. Feminism, let all of that happen. I'm juice tomorrow. I don't know whatever it is. Women can be sold stuff. So, the, so like I said, the point of, 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 I guess, my conclusion is that women are not supposed to lead, right? They're not supposed, men are supposed to lead the society and men are supposed to start selling things to men. <laughs> they won't get as much money, mm -hmm. but they're going to have to start selling things to men, which is why podcasts like this exist. We know that the podcast like yours, Pearl, is not in the majority of podcasts. Many people don't listen to it. You have a, you have a niche. Because, because I want to add, because... feminism is not for femininity. Feminism is for masculinity, which is clearly shown. They, they, they want to look like men, behave like men. They want to be men. And that's not feminine at all. Therefore, they open the gateway for the whole gender to be uh, run over, you know, which we now see. Your audience is probably mostly men. Men don't buy like women buy. They're not gonna. They're not gonna be on. They're not gonna be the shade barrel, shade barrel crew or whatever. It's so easy to sell to women. We need to yeah. stop selling to women and then. I, I'm getting I don't deep. think that's the solution. I, 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 I might get deep, but I think what we need you, to start separating ourselves from certain types of people. Okay, go ahead. Break the system, right? Let's no, certain types of people. But listen, right? Women are the problem. I 100% agree with you, Maggie, right? I wasn't saying don't focus on that 80% of women, We, but it's a balancing factor. You can't just focus. That's extremity, right? When you go to one side and you focus heavy, it doesn't. It but, ends up going back do we, up. We how, don't balance how, it out. Why do we balance it when the problem is unbalanced? Because unfortunately- so why, like, why, why, would we, why would we balance it when women are causing most of the problems? Because it's scientific, right? And just nature, right? When you're balancing things Wait, out- It's scientific and it's neat. I don't- I'm, I'm, Okay, go ahead, go ahead. The balancing beam, right? If you mm -hmm. go to one extremity, the other one's going to go up. Mm -hmm. So just in approaching, we have to be careful to balance no. it out. No, and it's, no, this is just how it works. Wait, wait, guys, 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 let, let her go ahead. Go ahead. That's just how it works naturally, right? I, and I, honestly, I, how do we get here? I, so I'm just not understanding what you're saying with the beam. So okay. how, how does us like talking about women, hey, women, we need, to, we need to step it up. And then the women will always come in and say, well, but don't forget about the men. And we're like, hey, you know what? We can deal with that when we, when we get the women because this is a way bigger problem than the men. Why, why is that an issue? Like, so how, I, does that, how does that make the problem bigger? I agree. We should definitely focus on the women. They need well, you could say the men that are allowing this bullshit from women are part of the problem. You know, if more men would be telling women, hey, what the fuck? Stop with this bullshit. You know, 
you know stop being so dishonest you know if more men would say that to women then uh, you know that might actually help but a lot of men are wimps they don't dare to uh, correct a woman if she's a wrong if she's wrong you know or they might disagree with something they're doing but they don't they they say oh i agree with you you know what i mean like that is you know also a problem with men need to take accountability i'm not no i i know but i'm saying what what about that makes when we get hyper focused bigger? on that and we solely focus mm -hmm. on that it causes a chain reaction of the opposite to then happen it may that's, be just a how, how, that's just it's a chain reaction. you know how men should really be men should men should just look at what a person does or says regardless of what they have between their legs i try to do that you know like i try to take out the gender out of it like if i see a woman doing something wrong i'm i'm trying to of course there's like you know that it's a woman so you might go slightly lighter on on her but i try to see it as just a person that's doing some stupid shit you know and would have said the same thing to a dude you know and that's what we should do you know i don't care what you have between your legs you're doing something wrong here and it should not matter what you have between your legs then that's why i'm saying even when a woman hits a man you know a lot of a lot of people is like yeah you should let a woman hit hit a, hit a man no it's wrong I don't care. I don't care that you don't, you don't have in as much power. You know, I don't care. Still wrong what you're doing, and you should be told that you're doing wrong. I don't give a fuck what you have between your legs. Legs. How how should that you know? How should that uh, make it right? Oh, you have a pussy. Oh, okay. Continue. Smash his head in. Yeah, yeah smashing heads is it's okay when you have a pussy, as long as you don't have a dick. Uh, and you're smashing heads. That's that's a different thing. Yeah. Reaction. That's that's how do we get there? How? We started focusing on like men having all Wait, the rights. How does, it, how does it make a chain reaction? So I'm just I'm just I want to because this is very broad. And a lot of times, like as women, we say things that are so broad that they don't like mean anything. Gotcha. And so and so if if I'm saying, hey, women. Step it up. Let's do better. Okay. With this is a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. We could say, okay, the men have this one problem. We have five. Why don't we tackle one, two, three, four? But, exactly. But, what? How does that make problem over here bigger? So if we have a balancing game, mm -hmm. they have one, we have five. Right. Right. And so we're trying to take. Are we taking five away from here just to get it to one and one, so it can be balanced? I mean, maybe. Or are we trying to just take one and like five away? Just take away the problems, man. Who gives a fuck about the balance? And then he goes over here, right? But technically, right. So, so then it would be some, that's, some female so that's, what I, that's what I'm saying. Like, even, even if we use the balancing beam, right? And like then this would be heavier than the men's problem. The only way to balance it out is to focus on the heavier problem exactly. first. Exactly. And I would, even with this analogy, like that doesn't. I would argue. I think that's feelings based. We might be surprised that what we want the men to change may actually self-correct if women started acting differently. Mm -hmm. Men are going to holler. Men are going to try. <laughs> men are going to shoot their shot. But if we don't allow someone to have access without being worthy of it, then they'll either go to someone that will allow it. Mm -hmm. But if the next girl says, you know what? No, these are my standards. They'll go on to the next person. And if the next girl says, these are my standards, men will change their approach based on the results that they get. But mm -hmm. we keep giving it away so easily, there's no incentive for a man to change. So I would argue we focus on the 80%, let's get our house in order, and we may look up and see there's always going to be that small amount mm -hmm. of people who are going to try and, you know, get whatever they can for free. But I think men would definitely step up. Step up. I think we um, we should give them more credit. Meg, you're a I, As many of you know, I was just... Yeah. I just think, generally, if you get in tune with truth it's better in whatever situation when you're full of lies and bullshit then uh, that's bad and you're gonna get a lot of problems by that and i still hold on to that men are way more honest than women in general i hold on to that but the women, you're seeing some women like Pearly, for example, starting to get it, you know, starting to get it. Like bullshit is not doing well for women, you know, you know, substance and, and truth is the new value in women. The more substance, 
you know, and the more truth speaking, the more valuable you will be as a woman. Period. Cut the crap. <laughs>